The manual gearbox is dying. On this episode of Car and Driver Abroad, we show you why it's worth saving with a little help from a rear-wheel drive Lamborghini Gallardo LP550 and some of the most beautiful Italian roads you could ever hope to. Five decades, these hills have been the stomping ground of test drivers from Ferrari, Lamborghini and latterly the likes of Pagani too. But the supercar is changing faster than life around here and the biggest casualty is the one thing that used to be central to any great supercar, an open gated manual gearbox. The Mura and Countach had them, even the baby V8 powered Yalpa, and mastering the manual box was the key to unlocking the real magic of these cars. Now you just flip a paddle. Only one Italian supercar still allows you to honour that fine. Gearboxes are brilliant. For example, the one fit into the Nissan GTR, and they are undisputably quicker across the ground. But cars like this are so fast these days that losing a tenth here or there just doesn't feel like a huge sacrifice at all. So how old school is the LP550? Well, this basic car came out the best part of a decade ago, so its underpinnings are ancient in supercar terms, but it certainly doesn't feel outclassed. The ride is very, very hard, and it's not adjustable unlike a Ferrari 458 or a McLaren 12C, but the performance is still mega, and this V10 sounds fantastic. The chassis balance of this rear drive Gallardo is brilliant too, and I mean it's really, really brilliant. Four wheel drive Gallardos tend to understeer quite a lot, and although this car's got a little bit of push built in, it's really easily overcome. So let's talk about that balance. This car does everything. For the most part, it feels grippy and neutral, really hooked up. Push harder and there's a bit of understeer. But go beyond that, and then it's all the oversteer and the ever one. fit with its rivals. Its natural rivals, I guess, are the Ferrari 458 and the McLaren 12C, although this is quite a lot cheaper. This is the cheapest car Lamborghini build, a manual gearbox, steel brakes, which are lovely, much better than Lambo ceramics, which are often really grabby. Rear wheel drive, it's a really basic package. Well, I don't think it's anywhere near as quick as the McLaren across the ground. Nothing is, basically. And it's probably not as quick as the Ferrari either, but it sounds just as good. And its chassis is just as adjustable. I'm really surprised. Gallardo's always felt a bit clunky, but this box and rear-wheel driving combination has totally changed the character of the car. It is the supercar bargain. It's still a ridiculous amount of money for most people, but it is the supercar bargain of the moment. It's late autumn in Italy, and these are the last days of sunshine. And on these roads, I'm not sure I'd rather be in anything else. This car has been so much fun today, much more than I expected, actually. There's just a delicacy to it that Gallardo's have never had before, and I, I really, really like that. This recipe of a supercar with an open-gated manual box might be falling out of fashion very, very quickly. But on the road, it is still an incredibly compelling experience.